What up, boxing fans? This is Boxing Fans 1 with my Sergio Martinez Darren Barker prediction. Starting off with Sergio, you know, he's one of the um, pound for pound best at the moment. Definitely an elite fighter. Incredible hand speed, incredible footwork, very fast footwork. Um, a very good counter puncher, very good head movement. Um, has a very good jab in his last fight, that jab just kept on landing. A very good um, overhand left, just asked Paul Williams. And he's just a very skillful fighter. He likes to fight with his hands down, but when you've got that speed and reflex, you can you can fight with your hands down. Um, yeah, you know, he's a very, very, very good fighter. You know, one of the top guys out there at the moment. Um, my only problem, I would say, with Sergio is I'd like to see him step it up now, you know, fight some of the best. You know, I was really hoping before the Darren Barker fight was made that he was going to fight one of the top guys at 160 or 154. But we've got Darren Barker, you know. Don't want to, you know, don't want to diss Darren Barker. You know, he's a, he's a good European level fighter, but he's nowhere, nowhere, nowhere near the level of Sergio Martinez. Um, I want to see Sergio fight someone with speed. You know, in the when he when he fought Paul Williams in the first fight, you know, in my opinion, that was fight of the year. And I do think Paul Williams' speed, you know, Paul Williams has fast hands. His speed gave. Gave gave Sergio problems. It did give Sergio problems, in my opinion. Um, but of course, in the second fight, Sergio just came out and knocked him the fuck out. I don't think Sergio has one punch knockout power. I think it's more about his speed and punch accuracy. He has very good punch accuracy. And um, you know, with that speed and that punch accuracy, when the punch lands, his opponents don't see it coming. And when it does land, it's just too late. Um, so yeah, I'd like to see him step it up and take some on take on some of the top guys at 160, 154, the likes of Chavez Jr., um, Felix Stern, Rubio. Maybe take on the win of Coto Magarito. You know, I know he's fought with Magarito before, and he lost him. So maybe um, you know, if Margarita wins that, give Margarito the rematch. Um, James Kirkland vs Angulo. You know that fight has been made. The winner of that, that'd be great. So yeah, he's got options. He's got better options than Darren Barker, that's for sure. So I like to see him take on some of the top guys at 160-154. Moving on to Darren Barker. Um, it, I also, you know, he's Darren Barker's from London Barnet, like myself. I'm a Barnet lad. He's a Barnet lad. So I'd love to see him pull off the upset, but it's not going to happen. He hasn't got the um, boxing abilities to outbox Sergio. Martinez, you know, Darren Barker likes to outbox his opponents, but he's just not good enough to outbox Sergio. Um, he hasn't got the power to knock out Sergio, so there's no way, in my opinion, Darren Barker will win this fight. I see, um, I see Sergio just totally outboxing Darren Barker, um, just landing that jab, his punch accuracy speed would be too much, outboxing him. At boxing him, countering him, you know, whenever Darren Barker throws a shot, I can just see Sergio just using that head movement, making him miss, and then countering him. And um, yeah, I'll say you know, at boxing him, countering him, and knocking him out, maybe seventh, eighth round. Um, that's how I see it going. Give me your opinion on the fight. How I say, it, I believe it's a mismatch. I think we all do, but give me your opinion. What do you think is going to happen? And who would you like to see Sergio fight next, you know? Who would you like to see Sergio fight next, whether it be at 160 or 154? Let me know, guys. Um, yeah, that's my that's my Sergio Martinez, Darren Barker prediction. Sergio by TKO, KO, 7th, 8th. Peace, guys. Take care. Thanks for listening.